Hey, when your first squad announced as Ireland manager, how have the last few weeks been? Have you managed to get over to England much and see the players in action? No, we only gone once together uh, to see that with four or four players would play in that game. So, so I went there because of numbers. Otherwise, I've 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 used my time watching them on the the apps we have or the telly to see more players than than less. Because it, for me now, it's it's more about the numbers of players to see rather than someone specific. So I'm imagining you leaned on John quite a bit and his knowledge of the players and picking the squad. Exactly. That's why it's so good to have him and Paddy uh, in the staff uh, with their knowledge on the players the personal and the personality of the players as well. John, we haven't spoken to you since it was announced that you, you'd come on board with Hamer. Um, I suppose, what was the decision to be made and how did he convince you to take up the role? Oh, serious. Serious convincing. No, <laughs> look, it was, it was very straightforward for me when... Um, I just assessed everything. It's a fantastic opportunity again. Um, when you when you look at it, I had an amazing time being the being the interim manager, but also now I get the chance to learn learn again from a manager who's had fantastic experience qualifying for tournaments. So it was um, important for me. Look, I really enjoy being involved with the Irish team, being involved with the Irish players. So to get the chance to continue that was uh, was fantastic. And Hamer, you said before how important it was for you to get John on board. Has, has he shown that importance in the last few weeks? Yeah, it was not only for for the national team important, it was really important for me as well, uh, coming in on a short notice. Then I can tap into his knowledge and Paddy's knowledge and, and the staff is more or less the same. So uh, f for me it was really vital, but I think it's more important for the, for the national team and the players to have stability in in our working environment and how we play etc let's talk about the squad then i think the big news from the fans point of view they'll be really happy evan ferguson is fit enough to be named in the squad yeah we'll we'll of course monitor how fit he is he is at least fit enough to be in the squad for for brighton uh, so we, we'll see in the first days how fit he is if he if he can play 90 minutes still or do we have to limit his, his time on the pitch, we, we'll see. We, we have five days to evaluate that. So there's no certainty that he'll be available to start against England? Well, we'll see. <laughs> I've been speaking to Brighton about that. Has it been a bit of a, a tug of war over whether or not he should be named in the squad? No, it was, it was no objection from them in, uh, at this point when we, when we selected him. So uh, he, seems to be, he seems to be fit. Himself says he's, he's, he's ready. John, obviously uh, the first game for pair of you as a duo is England here on September the 7th have you been speaking to Hamer about just how important that game is for Irish fans yeah look I think the, the, Hamer knows himself and um, the boss knows what what the game will bring but the most importantly is just focusing on both games as well not just not just the England game I think we have to have equal equal importance for the Greece game as well so but it's a it's a fantastic game to get his campaign going Hamer, obviously you're going to be coming up against Lee Carsley. He was the man, reportedly, that was the FAI's target to have your job before you. Is there a little bit more in that for you to maybe prove to the FAI they made the right decision? No, I will try to do my best, <laughs> whatever was, was in the background. So I, I will always try to do my best. Um, wish him all the, all the best. Uh, it is nice to see the English FA taking the under-21 coach uh, and that's continuity in, in that. So just wish him all the, all, all the best, except for two games. John, when you're looking at England trying to prepare for this game, is, does it make it slightly more difficult? Obviously, you'd know Lee pretty well, but when you're looking back at England, they've been under Southgate and now they've an interim manager. Are you expecting much difference from them? No, look, look, they've just been obviously in a in a final as well. So you have to think their, their squad is uh, they have a talented pool of players to pick from. But ultimately, it's about us focusing on on our squad as well and the players we we've been able to pick, and uh, hopefully being able to cause cause England some problems. I'm sure Lee will be Lee will be happy with the pool of players he's got to pick from. Great stuff. Best of luck to you both over the next few weeks. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much.